I've been working on this project for a while now and I'm so happy with how it turned out so far. I always wanted to make a mixed reality headset like the Microsoft HoloLens or the Magic Leap. And this is what I came up with. As of making this video, I have completed the hardware of the headset, which is mainly 3D printed apart from the electronics, as well as two separate softwares, one which runs on the device itself and one which runs on my PC. But before I show you how I made it and how it works, I want to show you what it can do so far. Right now I got the position tracking of the headset as well as the image tracking running, and I'm able to, after some calibration, project a fully 3-dimensional cube onto my image target, that you can look at from any angle. I will now give a very simplified explanation on how this works. We first have the image target which is picked up by the camera of the device, which in my software calculates the angle and distance the headset is looking at the target. It then will pass on that information to render any 3D file from the same angle and distance, and then repeat the process but with a slight change in perspective depending on the distance for the second eye, to trick your brain into seeing an actual 3D object in front of you. These two rendered images will then be displayed on the screens, which sit above two lenses that shift the focal point of the image further back, then the actual distance between the screen and your eyes. After that, the image is reflected of a piece of glass. After working on and perfecting this project for about 5 months now, I can say that I'm pretty satisfied with how the objects are looking right now. If you're wearing the device, it actually looks and feels like whatever object you're looking at is actually there in full 3D. Of course the tracking process can be perfected, because right now it's still a little jittery, but I'm confident that I can fix that in the future. Now I will talk a little more about the device itself. It has an ARM processor, running a version of Android, which I modified in a way where it will only boot straight into my own application. When I was designing the headset, I was thinking about ways to control it, and I came up with three ways to get an input. One was to have some sort of touch panel or buttons on the side of the actual device, but I regarded that pretty soon, because I imagined it to be a real pain. To every time you want to interact with some setting, you have to fidget around on the side of the device to try to find the right button, where you can't see what you're doing. The second one was to build some sort of gesture control into my software, where you can interact with the device by doing gestures with your hands. But since software like that is extremely complex, and I didn't want the already complex project to get any more complex. I postponed adding this feature to when the device works like I wanted to. The third way was to make a separate software which runs on my PC to control the headset and that is what I ended up doing. For that I designed my own little communications protocol. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments and I will make a separate video about that. When you start that software, you will land on a little login page. And to be honest, I only made that because I was bored one day and I didn't have anything else to do. The thought behind it is that different users can make their own profile, which saves all their calibration data. So you only need to calibrate the device once, but it's not done yet. After logging in, you land on the main page. In the top left corner, you can see the connection status of the device. Right now, it says no connection because the device is off, but when the device is booted, it will show that there is a connection. Which is really helpful because if you're wearing the headset, you can't see the connection and the status light on it. By the way, if you were wondering what Wiser means, it's what I named this project. Since I have a lot of files associated with it, I gave it a uniform name so I can find everything linked to this project very easy. Under the connection status, you can find a section called device status. As of right now, you can only request the battery level of the headset, but I'm planning to add more information here as I go. Under that, you can find the button to enter the two-dimensional calibration mode. Once you're in the mode, two crosses will appear on the headset. There are three steps to calibrate the device. The first one is to close one eye and use the wheel on top of the device to change the distance between the display and the lens. You do that until the cross is focused, and then repeat it for the other eye. After that, when you're looking through the glasses, you should see two crosses and now you need to use the software on the PC 
to move the crosses until they overlap and you only see one cross in front of you. The last step is to enter the three-dimensional calibration mode and place the image target in front of you. By the way, this is the second version of my image target that I designed. The first one didn't have enough random lines and was too symmetrical. The more random and unsymmetrical the image target is, the better the software can track it. Back to the calibration. You should now see a cross which always stays in the same place. You now need to use the software on the PC to get the cross in the middle of the image target. And then you're done with the calibration. Right now the only thing you can do right now is to display a cube on the image target. But that is not why I made this device. Because if I wanted to look at a cube I could have just 3D printed it. I want to not only display the objects in front of you but I also want to interact with them. I'm already working on a little mini game which you can play on the headset and interact with the holographic objects in front of you. So if you don't want to miss out on that, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also if you know a subreddit or some friends who would like this video, please make sure to share it with them. Thanks for watching, bye.